Welcome to how to create queue reports in Salesforce. As you may know, in Salesforce we do not really have access to the queue object to create reports. When you go to the report section and then you go to new report, when we search for the queue object, this is not really available for us to create reports. So what we are going to see in this video is a manual way to build your report. To build a queue report requires a multi-step process. One will be to extract the queues, two, extract the queue membership info, and three, to extract the user info. To make our extractions, we will use Data Loader. I already have this installed, so let's open it. Then we click on Export. It will require you to log in, so you log in with your credentials, your Salesforce credentials. Then click Next. Click Show All Salesforce Objects. Search for the Group Object. Then click, before we click Next, we give our file a name we can easily remember. I'll just make it Q. We click Next. We select all of the fields and make sure you are filtering by type equals queue so we don't get all of the groups and only the queues. Add the condition and then we click on finish. We click yes and we have a total of 32 records which is the total number of my queues. That's it for the first step. We click OK. The second step will be to export the queue membership info. So we do the same. We click on export, show all Salesforce objects. We search for group member. And then we give our file a name. We select all of the fields and we click on finish click yes and there we go 81 successful extractions and for our last extraction we do the same we click on export we search for user object click next Then select all fields. We don't need them all, but just to make sure we get the ones we need. Then we click on finish. Yes. So we click OK. Once we have all of our extracts, it's time to play with the files and make them into one single file. So open your three files. Okay, and we are going to start with the Q1. All we need from this file is the ID of the Q and the name. The rest of the columns, we don't really need them. So we just get rid of them. And that's it. Then we go to our members file and we kind of do the same. Here we just leave the group ID and the user group ID. And for the user's file, we just leave the ID and the name column. So now it's time to organize our data and we can start on the members file. So the group ID is the actual queue and the user group ID is the actual user who belongs to the queue. So we need to add two lines here. One will be the queue, and then we can add the name column. The rest is just to make a couple of VLOOKUPs to search for the actual name. The first one is for the group ID. We search on the queue file. To 
bring the name of the queue and then we do the same for the name on the user group ID column with the user's file then we just drag the whole thing and there we go so once we have this data we can organize it maybe on a pivot table so to do that we go to insert pivot table and then simply grab the queue name rows and the name below that and there you go that's how we can create our own queue reports in Salesforce there's also a Salesforce idea that's been around for quite some time upvote this idea so maybe we can just get a simple report on Salesforce for our queues I will just paste the link on the description thank you for watching how to create queue reports on Salesforce see you in the next one